What's up, y'all? Today we are talking about why Christian men have a hard time dating women in the church. The real reason. We're going to talk about the real reason today, okay? But first, as y'all already know, look, look, look. Y'all already know what we do over here on my channel. We get closer to God. We grow closer to God. We grow stronger in God. We apply God's word to our lives. We don't just read our Bible over here. We don't just go to church over here. We don't just go to Bible study over here. We do all those things plus apply God's word to our lives. All right, we really about that life over here. We don't just talk. We walk that walk on this channel. And if you really want to be a part of that, understand if you really want, if you really want that and you think you about that life, go ahead and subscribe right now. I guarantee your relationship is going to grow with God. And also, for the people that already know me and that's already a part of the channel, y'all know I'm about to start membership. So if you want to be a part of the membership where you can stay connected to God throughout the whole week, throughout the whole week, y'all, I'm going to be on there. I'm going to be on there live. I'm going to be talking. We're going to be doing all of that. We're going to stay connected. We're going to grow in our relationship with God. We're going to do master classes. We're going to do challenges. We're going to do role plays. We really going to be about this life. You understand? We're going to do all of that. We're going to do fast. We're going to do prayer calls. We're going to really walk it out. we really going to be on our Bibles. we really going to be doing all of that. And if you want to be a part of that, definitely go in the description box below and sign up for the wait list because that membership site will be starting soon, probably in October. Also, I got my ebook that's out, 100 Relationship Questions that will Keep You From Marrying a Counterfeit. Right? I also got the free mini ebook that's 10 relationship questions. If y'all want to check that out, go into the description and sign up for that as well. And um, check those books out. Also, I got the, the Imperfect Christian merch coming, y'all. I had this before a couple years ago, and I'm bringing it back out because I'm turning it into a brand, right? So I got this hat, got this shirt. I got this hat. I also got it in khaki, and I also got the shirts in cream, all right? They coming soon. I'm building the site right now, all right? So just wait and sign up for everything in the description box, okay? All right, let's get back to it. Why Christian men have a hard time dating women in the church? The real reason. All right, y'all. Now, there's going to be a few reasons. There's one main reason, too. I'm going I'm to get to that one in the I'm going to get to that one last. One main one that I know for a fact most men most Christian men to have an issue with when it comes to the church. Because I know the ladies always saying, don't none, of these women, don't none of these men come up to me. They don't want to talk to me. They don't do that. Or either it's a couple of the guys in the church that's really not doing what they're supposed to. And they trying to mess with the women and all that. But for the majority, a lot of times, a lot of men, Christian men, not even coming up. And a lot of them, obviously, not in the church like that. Or either they married. Right. But I, I hear a lot of my sisters, my Christian sisters saying, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? They don't want to do nothing. They don't want this. They don't want that. Or either they having sex. Well, let me tell y'all something. It's really some real Christian men out here that's really trying to walk that walk. And I know a lot of them. I got a lot of them at my church. A lot of them was a part of my life group. I got other brothers in my other community that I have, my Christian community, that's really trying to walk this walk. And they ain't having sex. But guess what they do tell me, though? That they have issues with talking to the Christian women in the church. And I'm about to tell y'all the reasons why. Literally, we've had conversations about this. And I hear this same thing from men all the time, from other men that don't go to my church. I hear it online. I hear it from the guys in my church. Like, in my mind, it's like, wow. And you know what's crazy? I feel the same way. So when I heard those men saying that, I'm like, yo, I thought I was the only one. So I'm gonna keep it real. So ladies... I need y'all to hear me. Like, hear me. Please listen to what I'm saying. Hear your brother Rudy. I love y'all, but I need y'all to hear what I got to say because while you're hearing me, you're hearing a lot of other brothers. Please try not to fight what I'm saying, but try to understand what I'm saying. Ask God to reveal it to you. Rather than fighting what I'm saying, right, then ask God to reveal this to you. Matter of fact, you can ask other brothers if you want to. Ask them. Right. Instead of thinking, oh, it's just them. It's just them. Well, try to understand us. Try to be understanding to why we may think and feel this way. All right. So the first one for me, I'm going to keep this real for me. I know some other brothers went through that. But for me, a lot of times I'm going to keep it real. Like a lot of the women not really about that life. 
Yep, I said it. I said it. They not really about that life. Yes, they go to church. Yes, they might read their Bible. Yes, they might go to Bible study. They might go to conferences. They might, you know, listen to, to gospel and stuff and not listen to secular music and all that. But they really not about that life. Some of them may even be abstaining. And yes, I do believe it's probably more women that's abstaining from sex until marriage. But I think a lot of times I, I see what I've seen. Hear me out. What I've seen is that some of the women in the church may say that and then they end up slipping or falling with a guy or even getting into a relationship with another guy who wasn't actually doing what I was doing, right? Like not, not trying to listen to sex in songs like that. Notice I said trying, because I don't be trying to play none of that Trey songs, none of that stuff right now. I might come across a song that might have some in it that I didn't catch, right? And just skip through it real quick, you know what I'm saying? But, but even on the radio, but, I'm not trying to listen to that stuff. I'm, 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 I'm like, nah. Let's not listen to Trey songs. Let's not listen. Let's not listen to nobody that that literally, you know, the whole song is gonna be about that. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Like, we gotta try not to do that. Let's, let's, let's watch a movie, and let's make sure. Let's check the sexual rating on that thing first, right? Let's look at the rating. Let's see if sexual images, sexual. All this other sexual stuff is in that first, right? Like literally, this is what I do. But then I come across women in the church that got a problem with that. They got an issue with me doing that. Also, how she dresses. Let me keep it real. Y'all know how I do over here, man. That's a fact. Like I'm not with you showing your body like that because that's a fact. Uh, the, the thing is that it can lead. I, I am abstaining from sex. See, this is the thing that I think some people don't understand. I'm abstaining from sex, baby girl. So with you dressing like that, guess what that does to my mind? When I wasn't thinking like this, guess what now it did? That's just like scrolling on Instagram when you just chilling and next thing you know, you see somebody who's half naked. Now it's in your mind. Why? Because your eye gates. In the music, in movies, your ear gates. So... And I ain't even just talking about that, y'all. That's just one part that I've run, in, uh, I, that I've run into. I'm even also talking about when it comes to literally trying to put God first. When it comes to, um, when it comes to reading your Bible, yes. When it comes to praying, yes. When it comes to reminding her about praying. When it comes to forgiving others. When it comes to being kind to others. When it comes to trying to be an example of Christ. When it comes to trying to be patient when it comes to trying to remove ourselves like I ha I've had a hard time with a woman who who literally is trying who is not trying to do those things and she gets mad at me and yes we need to look at ourselves we need to see what we can do we need to forgive others we need to apologize and yes it does take time to do those things but let's try like if we have a, if we are together and we both need to mirror Christ. So we both need to help one another. So what I run into is that Shorty is not really about that life. Almost like she's attracted to me because of what I look like. Or she's attracted to me because of what I signify or what I represent when it comes to God. She's attracted to that, right? She likes the thought of it, but when, but when I'm in her life, when I'm really trying to put God first, when I'm really not trying to go to the club, when I'm really not trying to do all of this stuff at night, when I'm really trying not to watch these movies, when I'm really trying to not listen to that music, right? When I'm really trying to not be so sensual, notice I said trying, when I'm really trying not, when I'm really trying to hold her accountable, when I really want her to hold me accountable, when we really can't be following our friends and doing what our friends are doing, when we really have to learn how to give up something, right? When she notices these things about me, it's almost like she turned off now. It's like, baby girl, like, what you thought? What you thought this was? You thought we just gonna read the Bible, go to church, cry on the floor, um, go to Bible study, and we ain't gonna really live this out? What you thought that that we just gonna throw the Bible at people? What you thought this was? We ain't doing that. We literally, we, we, we literally trying to live like this. We literally trying to learn who Jesus is, trying to walk this walk and trying to be loving, caring, and sacrificial to others. 
trying to die to ourselves, trying to literally learn. So with me, I'm not saying all, but a lot of times that's what I run into. And guess what? My brothers and other guys, they run into the same thing. Another issue that we run into is that she just wants a husband and that's it. <laughs> so it's kind of like she just want a husband and she just want me to be in that place in her life. Like she wants me to want her so quickly so that she can get married instead of doing it the intentional way, which excludes speed. Literally through friendship, literally through learning and growing into a relationship, trying to see if we actually, or courting as you want to say it, basically courting and trying to see if both of us can choose God if we line up, if we are equally yoked with one another when it comes to our relationship with God and our purpose in life through God so that we can be together and have a purposeful relationship, godly relationship. But instead of trying to do it that way, what I run into is she just want a husband. And if I ain't that, then I need to keep pushing. Right? Like, Literally, I'm, when I tell y'all, like, I feel like I done been interviewed immediately for a husband. Like, as soon as I meet the girl, she interviewing me like, like, am I her husband? And I'm like, yo, like, relax. I don't know you. You don't know me. Like, you don't know me and I don't know you. Let's make sure God is here because I know how the enemy is. Let's make sure that you choose God. And I also want you to see if I choose God. See, you might have seen a video or you might have heard about me or you might have you might think this about me because I say something about God. But but you can't see if God is really inside of me. If all you want, you just want me to be a husband today. I just met you an hour ago. I just met you yesterday. You don't know if I literally am sent by the enemy or not. You don't know if I'm choosing God or not. In the way that I want to protect people from the enemy, like I would never allow a woman to persuade me or pull me when I want to protect her from the enemy. And I want to protect her even from myself. No, slow down. Like you don't even want to get to know who I am. Even to be in a relationship with God, you have to get to know who he is. Right. You have to get to know who he is. Even in the Bible, it shows this to us when you look at Genesis 24, which is literally a whole story about finding a wife and a wife being found. That's a whole story. You don't see that in there. You don't see him just doing that. Even Boaz and Ruth wasn't like that. Even even Esther and Xerxes wasn't like that. There's so many other stories where you don't see that. Matter of fact. Where you do see that at, there's actually issues. David and Bathsheba, fast. You see what happened? There's so many issues where that happened. And then there's so many situations where that might have happened in the issue. Don't go against me. Please listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Please hear what I'm saying. It's your brother, Rudy. Trust. Listen. Connect. Ask God. See, the thing is, we cannot move with our emotions or with what we want. It's what God wants. God wants to protect you from the enemy. God wants to protect me from the enemy. So we need to make sure that he was, He is there. We need to make sure he is in that. He, we, we need to make sure that he is in that person. So that's another issue that me and my brothers run into. The last issue, which is the main issue that I think a lot of us Christian men, because I hear this one all the time, is that when we go to the church and we want to talk to a girl, let's matter of fact, let's just say we talk to a girl, and after we finish talking to her, or we just let's let's just say we starting to get to know someone. We not with her. We just got her number. We started to talk to her. Started to learn who she was. We realize we don't connect with her. We end that thing, right? The, the conversation or to get to getting to know the person. And guess what happens? She goes and tells her sisters or her friends or her life group friends or other girls at the church. And it, it could happen two ways. She could just go tell them like, yeah, we used to talk. 
You ain't even speak to that girl but a week and we ain't even have emotions for each other. So now she didn't did that. Or she going bad mouth us. And I'm talking about, this is excluding anything bad this man did. I'm talking about just communicating to get to know the girl. We don't know who she is yet. We ain't been nowhere with her. We ain't did none of that. So y'all don't try to throw out, oh, this men deceiving and they're having sex. No, we ain't talking about that. I'm talking about an issue off the rip. And then our name is around the whole church. From what? You don't even know this girl. You ain't even did nothing with her and you ended it. This is one of the biggest issues that us Christian men have when it comes to dating Christian women. This is why a lot of times we won't try to talk to a lot of girls in the church. Literally, a lot of my, when I tell you a lot of my brothers, tell me this. Think about it. We go to a whole, what is it? Um... A whole a, a whole singles event and no men in there. Ten men in there or five men in there. It's it's like two hundred women. The singles event is for all. It's for both both genders, but it's like ten twenty men out of two hundred women. But it's way more single men that go to that church. Why didn't they go? Why? It's not. I mean. I, Obviously, that's a part of it, but that's not the only reason. But from what I've heard, a lot of when I tell you a lot of brothers say this, it's because we don't want our names dragged. You got to understand men fiend for respect. Men love respect. Our name has to have weight on it. So it has to be respect on our name. So if I go to somebody and then they smear or slander my name, that's going to cause me to not want to be around certain people, this and that and this. Now, that hasn't ever happened to me where anybody slandered and threw my name around because I don't move like that. You understand? I'm not wilding out. I'm not doing none of that stuff. I, I stand on what I stand on. I am how I am. It's integrity with me until I'm dead and gone, right? Integrity. But at the end of the day, that can happen, and I've heard of that happening with other men, and I understand that. But even just a little ounce of just talking to a woman, a lot of times, our name gonna be in 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 the chats. Our name gonna be in the life groups. Shoot, I rem as a matter of fact, it happened to me when I was in college, and my when I was undergrad, when I was an undergrad, it happened to me in the undergrad. Like my name got in a whole group of women. What is it? Um. A whole organization of girls. My name in there because of one girl that I talked to. Now all the other girls don't want to talk to me no more. And the girl wasn't even my girlfriend. But that's different. That was I was doing way different things on there. But at the same time, I'm the same way, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. I don't want my name because y'all see how I think, how I feel about integrity, how I feel about respect, how I feel about all of these things that matter to me. I don't want to go over there and just talk to one girl and then, you know, and then I'm not feeling her and I'm like, no, nah, we can't be this, but we could just be friends. We cool, whatever. Or just not talk to her anymore. And now she didn't told the whole church that we talked or she lied on me. She lied and probably said, well, he made me feel this way and he did this to me. And I just stopped talking to her in like three days, started to talk to her and it ended in like three days. You see what I'm saying? Not to say all women are like this, but I'm trying to tell you this happens a lot, right? And this is exactly, this is the exact reason why I do the exact same thing, right? Like, uh, but my thing is integrity anyway, so I'm not about to be talking to all these people in general. Like, I don't want nobody saying that I spoke to a lot of women and all this stuff at the church. Like, it's not gonna happen, right? I'm not, I'm not doing it. Plus, I, I, I barely give myself to people anyway, so it's hard to have access to me in general. It's hard for a woman to have access to me in general. So I'm going to be the exact same way overall, right? So I do the same thing. But this right here, y'all, is why Christian men have a hard time, right? Dating Christian women in the church a lot of times. We don't want to seem a certain way. We don't want our name smeared and slandered. We don't want our name to be in a group of women and now because this girl talked to this girl cool with her or in the same life group 
or they know each other. And she like, oh yeah, I spoke to him and I got his number. Now she, it's off limits for her. And it's like, she can't talk to him, but her and the other girl, not even best friends. And he didn't even really want to talk to her. So now it's off limits. But if you keep your name clear, you ain't got to worry about that. But at the end of the day, that could be bad too, because now we ain't talking to nobody. And I know it's, it's crazy. It sounds crazy. But I think both of us on both sides, ladies, y'all got to stop telling everybody, telling all your business, saying all of this stuff, or telling everybody that you talked to somebody that you was, that was really nothing. And fellas, we got to try to move we, we got to take the risk. To keep it real, we got to take the risk and we got to try to communicate. I'm even trying to get out of it myself because I be at church like, oh, she look good, but I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> because it's not the street. You can't just walk up on a girl and try to bag her, try to, you know what I'm saying, get her number and all of that. Obviously, I don't even do that in the street. But there's certain things that I used to do. I didn't do it all the time, but there's certain things that I You can't just do that. This church now, you different now. Like, your name could go around this whole thing and now you don't, you don't, you don't, nobody sees no integrity in you in no type of way because they heard your name. So they don't even know what happened, but they heard your name. And now it's ringing a bell in some way, and now they're looking at you bad. And you don't even want that because men love respect. All right, so I hope this blessed y'all. I hope y'all, ladies, my sisters, make sure that y'all doing things a little different because you want men to come up to you. Right? And you definitely don't want your name heard by men hearing that you told something like that, right? Or you telling things like that because then that's the, that's going to make him not want to talk to you. And then that might make him not want to talk to the girls you around, right? But look, we got to make sure we stand on our toes, that we on point when it comes to God, that we integral, y'all, and that we ain't over here gossiping and doing all this other stuff, right? We got to be open. And if somebody don't want to talk to us and we weren't in a relationship with them or it wasn't like an official thing, then they, they free for, for whoever they talk to, y'all, all right? Let's do that, y'all. But look, this is what I've learned to be the reason why Christian men have a hard time dating women in the church, all right? Hope y'all understand. Don't be fighting me. Just understand what I'm saying. Listen to us. And then, you know, try to maneuver around that, all right? Again, y'all, hit the like button, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and definitely go down into the description and sign up for the Kingdom Academy memberships, y'all, because it's coming soon, so sign up for the wait list. All right, and share this video. Share this video. I love y'all. I'm going to get it, y'all, when I get it, y'all.